Well, I am not a big fan of, of Wikipedia, but anyways, this is just seems to be just a common knowledge. Lord's Day. Okay. The Lord's Day in Christianity is generally Sunday. Hmm. When is Sunday? Sunday is the day of the week between Saturday and Monday. Okay. So it's not Saturday nor Monday. It's in between Saturday and Monday. So if the Saturday is what the seventh day, then Mon Sunday, a week has seven days. M Sunday probably is the first day. I think yeah, and then Monday second day. Okay, Let let's let's start from there. Um. All right, so we've read here that the Lord's Day in Christianity is generally Sunday, uh, the first day, uh, the principal day of the communal worship. Okay, consider the principal day of communal worship. Mm -hmm. It is observed by most Christians as the weekly memorial of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Weekly memorial. I've never, this word is... Yeah, okay, let it... Let, okay. Weekly memorial of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who is said in the canonical gospels to have been witnessed alive from the dead early on the first day, yes, of the week. Uh, the phrase appears in Revelation 1.10. Which phrase? What is there? Which phrase is that? Revelation 1.10. Okay. I don't know which version is that, but let's read it. Oh, new revised standard version. Okay, Bible. Okay, cool. It was, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet. Okay, so this is John uh, speaking. Um, saying that he was in spirit on the Lord's day. Okay, but John, what is what is Sunday? Can I see Sunday, John? Which day was that, John? Okay, so it's Revelation one ten. Let me see here. Other may maybe in other version. Let's see. Uh, NLT maybe. Revelation one ten. Okay. Verse. 10, 10. All right, right here. It says, it was the Lord's day. And uh, and I was worshiping in the spirit. Slightly different. Uh, in the other version, John was saying he was in, the, in spirit. It is referring to be, being in spirit. Now here, John was worshiping from wherever he was. Whenever he was worshiping in spirit suddenly i heard john heard it john heard behind him a loud voice like a trumpet blast okay maybe let's get the context because i haven't seen which day yet maybe it's in the previous verse yeah i john am your brother and your partner in suffering and in god's kingdom okay let's see this so let's put this three. So 10 is in between, okay, guys? Verse 10 is in between, so we may have a context here. I, John, am your brother and your partner in suffering and in God's kingdom and in, pa and in the patient endurance to which Jesus calls us. I was exi exiled to the, uh, the island of Patmos for preaching the word of God. Wow. And for my testimony about Jesus. It was the Lord's day. Okay, John. Yeah. Ooh, Lord's day. I want to see Sunday, John. And they told me to see Sunday here, John. And I was worshiping in the spirit. Suddenly... I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet blast. 
It said, right. Oh, okay. This is what the 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 trumpet blasting was uh, to tell John. Uh, to say to John. So it says, it said, write in a book. Okay. So that's how we got this book, huh? Everything you see. And send it to the seven churches in the cities of the Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamon, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Laodicea. Alright, so I haven't seen it yet. Where's Sunday? Huh? Alright, these guys must have seen it in some other version maybe and lt i've read niv wow niv yeah all right niv verse 10 on the lord's day i was in the spirit and i heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet no sunday again and again and again all right, let's see. Uh, some of some of them, man, I had they they should right. All right, this is a King James version. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trump. Nothing yet. All right, I'll find it. I, I, they told there is that that passage has to do with the and I should. Which one? Which one should I pick here? I think. Let's say. Good news. Oh, okay. Good news translation. I have to download it. Oh, no. Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. Which one I have? Oh, no. Nah. Oh, this is not nice. Uh, I have to download it. Or right, am Amplified Bible, maybe. It's Amplified. So, maybe. All right. In verse 10 again. Let's read it. Oh, this is... Okay. All right. More details here, I believe. I was in the Spirit in special communication with the Holy Spirit in, and in power to receive the and record the revelation from whom? Jesus Christ. On the Lord's day. Yes. Yes, John. And I heard behind me a loud voice like a sound of a trumpet. Oh, you know what, guys? Let's go back. Let's go back because this I can't find that. Maybe, maybe there's some other ways. All right, we were here. No, not here. Where were we? Where were we? Yeah, yeah. Oh, go back. Oh, okay, Sabbatarian. Okay, we were here. Sabbatarian rests. Um, practices legislated by. Church councils, what before the early middle ages, the Lord's Day became associated with Sabbatarian, which means which is rest. I, I believe their practices legislated by church councils. Okay, so. Hmm. This sounds like okay. The word uh, synod comes from the Greek synos, synodos, synodos, meaning assembly or meeting, and is analogous with the Latin word. Concilium, meaning council. Originally, synods were meeting of bishops, and the word is still used in that sense in Catholicism, Oriental Orthodoxy, and Eastern Orthodoxy. In modern usage, the word often refers to the governing body of a particular church. Ooh, governing body of 
a particular church, whether its members are meeting or not. Okay? It is also what? Sometimes used to refer to a church that is governed by a uh, synod. So this is how we look. Okay? Synod is diocesana. Ha ha. Okay. All right. So let's go, let's get let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Oh no. Nah. Okay. So then it says here before the early Middle Ages. Okay. Before the remember. Uh, pay attention where we are at in t in time. Before the early it's uh by three sixty one A.D. Before the early Middle Middle Ages. The Lord's Day became associated with Sabbatarian rest practices legislated by the church councils. And we see here has to do with a Catholic uh, guys. <laughs> so Christian denominations such as Reformed, uh, Reformed churches, Methodist church and Baptist churches regard Sunday as Christian Sabbath. Also, Christian Sabbath is Sunday. We've learned here minutes ago that Sunday is a day between Saturday and Monday. And we learned that Sabbath from the Bible is the seventh day. Now here, we are reading that Christian denominations such as Reformed churches, Methodist churches, and Baptist churches regard what? Which one? Sunday as Christian Sabbath. I'm Christian though. So that means if I, because I'm Christian, my seventh day is first day? A practice known as first day Sabbatarians, Sabbatarianism. Wow, these words, huh? A pract uh, first day Sabbatarian, Sunday Sabbatarian. What? Okay. Oh, oh yeah, first day Sunday. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, that's a different, uh, different, uh, different one, and and it's good. Sunday Sabbatarian, Sunday Sabbath. Is that, is that right? Sunday Sabbath? Practice include attending morning and evening churches service on Sundays. Receiving catechesis, cat, catechesis, catechesis and, Sunday, and, and Sunday school on the Lord's Day. Taking the Lord's Day off from serv, servile labor. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is becoming... Oh, no. Nah. Not eating at restaurants on Sundays. Not Sunday shopping. <laughs> not using public transportation on the Lord's Day. Not participating in sporting events that are held on Sundays. As well as not viewing television and, in, and the internet on Sundays. But these people are not even following their their uh, this 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 Sunday Sabbath. Um, uh, it's a lot of confusions at this point now. Oh man, Christians who are Sunday Sabbatarians often engage in works of mercy on the Lord's Day. Remember, guys, the Revelation one ten. I don't know. I haven't seen Sunday there, but amen. Such as evangelism, as well as visiting prisoners at jails and the sick at hospitals and nursing homes. I, I like that. That's a good good thing to do, though. Visiting prisoners at jails and the sick at hospitals and nursing homes. Wow, that's nice. 
Yeah, that's a good thing, though. That's a good good job. I like it. That's a good thing. In Christian calendars, uh, Sunday is regarded as the first day. Um, hold on. Let me see something. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Um, let me go back to Sabbatarian. Okay, Sabbath in Christianity is the inclusion in Christianity of a of of a Sabbath. A Sabbath? What is that? Sabbath, Sabbath. Oh, okay. So, Sabbath. What is Sabbath? So in Abrahamic religions, the Sabbath or Shabbat from Hebrew is a day set aside for rest and worship. Okay. But Shabbat, what is Shabbat? Shabbat is the first day. According to the book of Exodus, okay. The Sabbath is the day of rest on the seventh day. No, 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 no. I think which one is which one is right? Sabbath seventh day or Sabbath first day? Oh, you know what? Maybe the Bible can... Because here in the Wikipedia, I'm reading seventh day. Rest on the seventh day. Commanded by who? Huh? God. Who's God? Do you want to know who God is? God. In monotheistic thought, God is usually viewed as the supreme being. Supreme. Supreme, supreme being, okay, guys, creator and principal object of fate. God is usually conceived of as being omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, and omnibenevolent, as well as having an eternal and necessary existence. God is most often held to be incorporeal. With said characteristic being related to conception of transcendence or in e in merit immanence. Okay, cool. Uh, but let's go back again here. All right. So we 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 learn uh, who God is. Sabbath. All right. It mentioned here according to the book of Exodus. I I believe it's talking about Exodus chapter twenty. Let's go there. Exodus chapter 20. I think from Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. 20. Ooh, right there. Okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. In reading verse 8 says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Verse 9, six days. Okay, day one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six day. We have, I have six day. Okay, the Bible is telling me this now. Six day, you shall labor and do all your work. Okay, I'll do that. No problem at all. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. So. I think that Lord's Day is this. Man, I spent all that time, couldn't find what was the day in Revelation 1.10. And now, look at this. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. So, the, which, which day is the Lord's? My God day. I have to go back to Revelation. I have to check that out. All right. All right. So I was in the spirit. Um, I was in the spirit in special communication with the Holy Spirit and empowered to receive and record the revelation from Jesus Christ. Okay. On the Lord's day. Okay. Not here, oh, cool. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. 
in it you shall do no work nor you nor your son nor your daughter nor your male servant nor your female servant nor your cattle nor your stranger who is within your gate look at verse 11 what a context here huh for in six days the lord made the heavens and the earth the sea and all that is in them and rested the seventh day not the first day but why though why is it not, isn't it first day jesus resurrected on the first day maybe god didn't know that like according to maybe is that what they thinking like the reformed christianity uh i don't maybe maybe but I, i'm not sure so i don't buy it you know i don't buy that because it might be uh later on a bad investment you know i don't buy it okay and rested the seventh day therefore the lord blessed the sabbath day and hallowed hallowed it okay let's go back to our wikipedia huh wait well, wikipedia where are you oh no uh wikipedia why you did that to me so i don't know i don't know this sunday thing came from these guys at the time of 361 AD and they are, they are here listed as reformed churches Methodist churches Baptist churches regarded the Sunday uh, these guys made Sunday uh, a, uh, uh, they made Sunday become a Sabbath these guys are powerful powerful dudes and uh, today believe it or not there's many more people very, like they're really really bold saying this also uh, I have close friends that was selling me this package um, uh, but uh, you know what it doesn't I don't, I don't I can't buy it you know um, seventh day can't be first day first day cannot be seventh day uh, Sabbath cannot be Sunday Sunday cannot be Sabbath um, Sabbath was commanded by God and uh, Sunday was commanded by these guys and this is very very tough because this guy has no authority to do that and uh, it's just uh, um, they they just did it because they thought they 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 should but nobody told them to um, and the craziest thing is the revelation 110 I guys I tried I try to you know see many you know versions if you have a version that says it like please 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 i exhort you um to share it i i please send it send it on send it on my way send it my way just so i can have the the logic you have or the wisdom you have okay about sunday being uh, sabbath okay uh, please help if you have anything that you can share with me to make sunday become saturday please send it my way i really i will really appreciate that and consider consider you highly okay please please send it my way um i have many friends that try to uh, give me many versions without sunday being uh there that i could read 
So if you have anything that says Sunday is Saturday, send it my way. Please, please, and please do that. Okay? I appreciate you in advance. All right? God bless you. God teach, teach you all that you need to learn. God give you all that you don't have. And may God... Uh, show you all that you don't see in Jesus name. Amen.